Question 28. Let's get our highlighter out to make sure we have highlighted the key points. ABC is a triangle. Clearly, A to B to C draws out a triangle for us. Now, the key thing on this page that I think students forget about a lot of the time, the diagram is not drawn accurately. That is one of the most important things that students forget to read. Now, when it says that, it means you cannot, and I will paste it, you cannot get your protractor out and start measuring. Your protractor is absolutely forbidden when you see that sign, or your ruler, forbidden. You are supposed to use logic or reason or your angle facts, in particular your angle facts, in order to work out anything here. Nothing, nothing, nothing to do with um, a protractor, okay? So you can't get your ruler out and measure, not at all. So remember that, it's the one of the most important tips I can tell you. So let's keep reading the question. So, what we've got is we've got um, angle ABC, angle ABC, and that means as I go from A to B to C, the angle at B, so this angle here, okay? It tells you that that is equal to angle B, C, A. So as I go from B to C to A, the angle at C. So these two are equal. Now if those two angles are equal, then these two sides must be equal to each other, okay? So what I can do is I can therefore state that because they're equal, since angles A, B, C equals B, C, A, you can state that the lengths are, are the same. So state your uh, fact there, the fact that you are using, and you can get a mark for stating your fact. So what you can say is therefore, you can say that this side is equal to this side. Okay, so you would write down that 3x subtract 5 is equal to 19 subtract x. Okay, so you're trying to solve that equation now. Now you can use the balance method if you're uh, familiar with the balance method. So I'll show this in two different ways. Um, firstly, you get all the x's on one side. So you can add x to this side and add x to this side to make sure that this negative x disappears. So you would get that 4x subtract 5 is equal to 19. Now you want the x all by itself. To get rid of that negative 5, you add 5 to both sides and you would get that 4x is equal to 24. And lastly, you would divide by 4. So you would divide both sides by 4. If, one, if 4x is 24, 1x is 24 divided by 4, which is equal to 6. Okay, so x is 6. Now, alternatively, what you could do, like some students like doing this, it just uh, I'm just going to show you this over here. Just, it, it's not understanding your algebra, but it might just help you from making mistakes. If you have 3x subtract 5 is equal to 19 subtract x, what some students like to do is they like to circle that, bring it over here, so you'd have 3x, and it's no longer a negative on the left, on the other side of equals, it would be an add, subtract 5 is equal to 19, so 4x subtract 5 is equal to 19. Then what students like to do is that subtract 5, they would bring it over with the other number and it would become uh, an add 5, so you would get that 4x is equal to 19, add 5, so 4x is equal to 24. And lastly, that multiplying by 4, when it goes on the other side, it becomes a divide, so x is 24 divided by 4, which is 6. Now, I prefer this method because it's more mathematical, but if this method here uh, prevents you from making mistakes, you might want to use it, okay? So you have to show that working. So x is equal to 6, but that wasn't what the question asked, so go back to our question and read it carefully. Work out the perimeter of the triangle, give your answer as a number of centimetres.
Okay, so what we're going to have to do is state each of the sides. So I'm going to keep going here, extend the page. So we know that x is 6, and we've got the three sides. The three sides are 3x subtract 5, 19 subtract x, and 2x. So our three sides are 3x subtract 5, 19 subtract x, and 2x. So we need to substitute 6 in for x in each of these and work out the three sides. So if 6 went in here, we would have 19 subtract 6, which is equal to 13 centimetres. If 6 went in here, it would be 2 multiplied by 6, which would be 12 centimetres. And if 6 went in here, it would be 3 multiplied by 6, subtract 5, which is 18 subtract 5, which is 13 centimetres. Now, you should have known that these two were the same because we had shown that earlier. We knew those two were the same. So we've got a 13, a 13, and a 12. So the total perimeter is 13 plus 13 add 12, which is going to be equal to 38 centimetres. So state your answer here, 38 centimetres. And we're done for that question. Key thing is, do not measure. Use logic. Once you know the angles are the same, you know these two sides are the same, you can set an equation up, find x, and then put x into each of these to find the lengths. Okay.